By the bedroom? Yes, sir. What were you doing when your Aunt Tay heard that noise? I was still playing on my Nintendo Switch. How did you know your Aunt Tay heard a noise? Because she told me, did you hear it? And I said no. <clears throat> was the lights on, were the lights on in that bedroom? Yes, sir. And what did, after she told you she heard a noise, what did she do? She went to get her weapon in her purse. Where was her purse? Uh, next to her table where she worked at. Before she heard that noise outside, where was your Aunt Tay sitting? Was she at that desk? Uh, no, she was in the middle of the room with her, like, she had her chair in the middle of the room playing on the game. And so you said she went to her purse and grabbed out a weapon. <coughs> what do you mean by weapons, Ion? A gun. <coughs> was it a big long gun or a gun that you can hold in your hand? A gun you can hold in your hand. And did you see her go to her purse and get that gun? Yes, sir. And what did what did she do after she grabbed, she took the gun out of her purse? She just held it to her side. She just like, she didn't point it up. She just kept it next to her, like on her side. And where did she go with that, with the, uh, after she picked up the gun? She was about to start walking to the window. Okay. And when she walked to the window, what did she do? Uh. I didn't hear nothing after that. I just seen her fell on the floor. Okay, I want to go back just a little bit. Do you remember that night, after all this was over with, going to talk to a, to a lady at a special place in a little bitty room? No, sir. We talked about this before. Her name was Lindsay Dula, and you wouldn't talk about what happened? Like when you took me? Yes. Oh, yes, sir. And you wouldn't talk to that lady and told her everything about what happened, right? Yes, sir. Um... Did you see, whenever your Aunt Tay walked towards the window with the gun, did you see her kind of pull the gun up just a little bit away from her side? I'm sorry. Now, when we talked before, you said that she did kind of pull the gun up a little bit. Do you remember that? I'm sorry. It's okay if you remember it. I mean, I just want you to remember it exactly the way you do. Do you remember if she had the gun up or down? Down. Now, are you sure she didn't have it up at all? No, oh, sir. Okay. And how close did Aunt Tay get to the window? I can't, uh, I don't know how to, like, say how far she was. Like, I say, like, she was, like, three feet away. Okay. She got pretty close to the window? Yes, sir. Was she saying anything to you as she got closer to the window? No, sir. What did you, what did, uh, did you hear anything as she got closer to the window? No, sir. Did you see something that happened? I seen her fell on the ground. Did you see what was, what, did you see anything outside the window? No, sir. You didn't see a man with a badge? No, sir. Did you hear anything before she fell to the ground? No, sir. What happened after she fell to the ground? She started crying, and then after that, two police officers came and got me. Did you know what had happened at that point? No, sir. Did you know if your aunt Tay was hurt? Yes, sir. What were you thinking? I was thinking, is it a dream? How did you think she was hurt? Because she was crying and just shaking. What happened when the, the two police men came into the bedroom? They seen me and they took they told me to get up and they took me to the back of a police car. Did one police officer take you or both of them? Both of them. Both of them? Are you sure it wasn't just the woman police officer? No, sir. Like the man, he walked a little bit, but then the lady told him like to go check on her. Like when we got halfway, like right there by the kitchen, so he did. At the entrance of what? Huh? At the entrance of what? Repeat what you just said. Oh, so uh, she told the man to go check on her. She go check on my auntie to see if she was still alive, and he said okay. Did you know if your auntie was still alive at that point? <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, where did that uh, woman officer take you? 
to a back of a police officer. I mean, she took me to back to a police, a back of a police car. And when she took you to the back of a police car, what were you wearing? Only underwear. Were you cold? Yes, sir. Were you scared? Yes, sir. Why were you scared? Because I seen my auntie crying, so I thought it had to be something serious. Did you know what those police were doing? No, sir. And how, do you remember how long you sat in that car? About like five minutes, waiting for an officer to come, wherever they was going to take me. Did another officer show up that you hadn't seen before? Yes, sir. He was different than the two that, were, that came in the house, right? Yes, sir. And what did that officer do with you? He was the owner of the police car, so he gave me like a big shirt to put on. And then after that, I fell asleep. Was that officer very nice to you? Yes, sir. Do you remember his name? No, sir. He never told me his name. But he was really nice? Yes, sir. And how long, what happened after you fell asleep? I fell asleep and then I woke, he woke me up and I was at like a little daycare or foster care. Oh, the place where the, where the woman talked to you? Yes, yes, sir. And was that, was that woman really nice to you? Yes, sir. And she just explained that she had to ask you some questions about what happened, is that right? Yes, sir. When did you find out about what happened to your Aunt Tay? After a couple of days when I stayed with my mama, when she came and got me from the place. And what did you find out had happened? I seen she died, so when I seen she died, I went to my mama and asked her, is that true? Did you find out it was true? Yes, sir. How'd that make you feel? I was very upset. Were you upset that night? I was, Did it happen? I really, I wasn't upset. I was confused because I didn't know if, when I was like, if it was a dream and if I wasn't waking up still. Did you hear anyone get shot that night? No, sir. Why don't you think you heard anything? I probably don't just remember it, but I think I don't hear, didn't hear nothing. Did you hear the policeman say anything outside the window? No, sir. I don't remember. Do you remember him, do you remember seeing him at all outside the window? No, sir. The house that you lived at with your granny and your aunt today, uh, how many front doors did it have? Had two. And which of those front doors did y'all normally use? The side one. The one yeah. where we, um, the car was next to. The, the side door that the cars were next to, is that right? Yes, sir. And the other door points out to the street, right? Yes, sir. Did y'all ever use that one? Sometimes if we order something to eat. And those doors, did y'all normally keep the doors closed? Yes, sir. Now, because those hamburgers were burning, what'd you do with those doors? What'd you and Aunt Tay do with those doors that night? So the front, we forgot the front door was open, and the screen door was still kind of open when I opened the window off it. So y'all kind of open up the doors to let the smoke out? Yes, sir. But those glass screen doors were still kind of shut, is that right? Yes, sir. You, those were open too? Pass the witness, Your Honor. All right, we've been going a while. I want to take our mid-morning break, okay? You stay right here, okay? Y'all retire to your jury.